This is an Arizona Department of Public Safety safety bulletin regarding your issued FNS service weapon and other FNS pistols. The conditions we are about to demonstrate are unlikely to occur in the field. These conditions can only occur if the weapon is taken out of battery and the trigger is pulled, such as a close quarter struggle in which you are attempting a contact shot. As a reminder, your weapon is designed not to fire when out of battery. Do not attempt to recreate the conditions in this video. During testing by our crime lab, two conditions relating to the full FNS line, the 4-inch, 5-inch, and compact, all in 9mm and 40 caliber were discovered. Two conditions were observed in which the pistols may fire when not intended. Various FNS pistols over a broad range of manufacture dates have been tested from brand new in-box to lightly used to heavily used with the same results in each case. Condition number one, the weapon is pressed against an object and held slightly out of battery. Out of battery is any time the slide is not in a fully forward position, rendering the weapon incapable of firing. When the trigger is pulled, the weapon will fail to fire as designed. If the trigger is held to the rear when the weapon is pulled away from the object and returns to battery, the weapon may fire. Condition number two, the weapon is pressed against an object and held slightly out of battery. When the trigger is pulled, the weapon will fail to fire as designed. If the trigger is released while the weapon is held out of battery against the object and then moved away from the object, the trigger may fail to reset fully. The picture on the left shows a trigger safety in its reset position. The picture on the right shows a trigger safety not reset. A trigger safety not reset will cause condition number two to occur. In this condition, a tap rack, any side to side or up and down movement, a sharp jarring blow, and even holstering and unholstering will cause the weapon to fire with no further contact with the trigger. These conditions have been recreated consistently under laboratory environments. During testing, we were unable to replicate either condition with the FN-509. If you find yourself in a situation where you attempt a contact shot, you pull the trigger and the weapon fails to fire. It is most likely functioning as designed. Do not assume your weapon is experiencing one of the previously stated conditions. Continue to follow your training when dealing with the suspects. When the situation allows, you need to determine if your weapon is experiencing one of the previously stated conditions. If your trigger looks like the picture on the right, you will need to find a safe place immediately. Be cautious as the weapon may fire if jarred at all. Clear your weapon carefully, keeping it pointed in a safe direction at all times, as it will most likely discharge. As always, it is imperative to follow the four firearm safety rules. As a reminder, the four firearm safety rules can be remembered using the mnemonic device loaded, laser, straight, and sure. Rule number one, loaded. All guns are always loaded. Rule number two, laser. Never allow the muzzle to cover anything you are not willing to kill or destroy. Rule number three, straight. Keep your finger straight along the frame and off the trigger until you are on target and have made a conscious decision to fire. Rule number four, sure. Be sure of your target and its surroundings. If you have any questions, please contact the Firearms Training Unit at 602-223-2308 or at firearmstrainingunit at azdps.gov.